Hi, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another story time brought to you by ABC Read and ABC Learn, in which we are here to help you develop and nurture that love of reading in every child as well as every adult. How are you all doing out there today, evening, whatever time of the day it is, whatever the weather is, wherever you are right now around the globe? I hope that you all are just doing fantastic. And I hope that you all have read or you're planning to read for at least 30 minutes. All right. And before we get started, I would just like to say that this particular story is dedicated to a lovely, lovely, beautiful girl by the name of Alea. And I just want to say I appreciate you so very much. You have been so excited about uh, watching uh, these read-alouds. You were so excited to tell me about it when I saw you um, at your school. And I am just grateful. I am definitely, of course, grateful to God. And first and foremost, and I am grateful to you and your wonderful mom uh, for uh, you watching these videos. And hopefully you are getting inspired to want to read more. And of course, that you are learning and that you're also being entertained at the same time. So Alea, this story is for you. All right. And before I read the story, I just want to share with you a, um, a fact. Um, it is, this is Black History Month, but I'm just going to tell you, I'm not the person who thinks that we are only supposed to learn about Black people during the month of February. You know, I'm always teaching um, as much as I can, I should say, our youth um, about what African people or people of African descent have done. So people here in America, North America, South America, you know, wherever they are around the globe where there are people of African descent. You know, our children need to know about these people who have done things, who have accomplished things, who are educators, builders, innovators, inventors, um, whatever it is that they have done that have contributed not only to America, but to the world. And um, so I wanted to um, give a shout out to uh, Miss Marva Collins. She is past now. She's not living anymore, but she was an educator in Chicago. All right. And she started the school called West Side Preparatory School in the uh, impoverished, which is a poor neighborhood in Garfield Park. All right. And she was an educator, um, apparently very well known. But guess what? I didn't know about her. You know, um, when I even taught, told my student um, who I am uh, tutoring and reading and I t gave him a quote about her and I asked him, I said, have you ever heard of her? He said no. You know, and many different people that I've talked to, they have not heard of her. And I'm like, why? Why is that? But when we say names like um, Susan B. Anthony, or we say names like, uh, of course, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Robert E. Lee, uh, Shakespeare, you know, um, uh, Anne Frank, you know, you know, when we say the names of these different people, you know, we know those names. Why? Because these are the people uh, that we learn about in school. You know, when it comes to people who are uh, African-American or brown folk, you know, you only people we learn about, and especially during Black History Month, is going to be usually Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., um, you know, Rosa Parks, um, let's see, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, you know, because we remember we was entertainers now. So, you know, but that's, you know, Oprah Winfrey, we learn about Oprah. You know, but, you know, the list gets real, real short, you know, I guess, you know, to, to uh, coincide with the month of February, huh? Yeah, but anyway, you know, but like I said, on my channel, ABC Read, ABC Learn, um, and when I'm tutoring uh, young people, you know, we are empowering our young folk. And in particular, when I say our young folk, yes, I'm talking about our, all children in general, but in particular, I'm specifically targeting African-American children, children of African descent, because we have reading scores in the black community where children who are about a fourth grade, it's only 17% of them are reading proficient, meaning they can read just enough, you know, right there. That's a problem. 
that's a problem. And then those same children, you know, um, who are not reading, you know, or doing poorly in reading, they don't even want to read either. They're like, I don't care if my scores is low and I don't even want to read. I hate reading. Reading is boring and all of that stuff. So this is why we have our channel, ABC Read, ABC Learn. And so I want to give a quote by uh, Marva Collins. Um, and this is one of the quotes uh, that she said. And this is um, an awesome quote right here. And she says this, if you don't give anything, don't expect anything. Success is not coming to you. You must come to it. All right. So period, point blank, in a nutshell, she's saying what? You got to get out there and go get it. You got to do it. Right, Alea? You got to make it happen, girl, like you're doing, right? You are an awesome, awesome student, and um, you keep up the great work. I am very proud of you, and again, and I thank you and appreciate you uh, for um, being excited about listening to these read-alouds, and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share these videos. So now I'm about to get started with the story. Let's begin. Bam! Here we go. Here we go. And the title of the story is called Badger's Fancy Meal. And the author, her name is Keiko Kaza. All right. So here we go. We have a badger, right? See that animal, right? And Badger's Fancy Meal. Hmm. What is this book going to be about? This badger, he's going to have a fancy meal. He's going to, what, what's a fancy meal? What's a fancy meal to you, Alea? You know, everybody has their different definition of what a fancy meal is. I know uh, an example for me, uh, what a fancy meal is uh, having some uh, lobster tails with some garlic butter sauce, with a little, uh, maybe some zucchini on the side or a nice green salad, you know, and some, uh, maybe some, uh, Alfredo noodles or something like that, you know, so what is your example of a fancy meal? I wonder what is Badger's example of a fancy meal? Well, we're about to find out. All right, Alea? Let's get to reading. Right. Badger's den was full of food, but he was not happy. Apples, worms, and roots. Same old, same old. He sighed. I wish I could have a fancy meal for a change. So Badger crawled out of his den and eagerly set out to find his fancy meal. Soon Badger spotted a mole walking by. Hmm, he thought. How about a mole taco with hot, spicy salsa? Now that's what I call a fancy meal. He jumped for the mole but it was too slippery. It slipped and slid right out of Badger's hands. Then it scampered away as fast as it could. And found a perfect place to hide. Badger was disappointed, but not for long, because soon he spotted a rat walking by. Mm -hmm, he thought. How about a rat burger smothered in cheese sauce? Now that's what I call a fancy meal. He jumped for the rat, but it was too wiggly. It wiggled and jiggled right out of Badger's hands. Then it scurried away as fast as it could. Mm -hmm. 
and found a perfect place to hide. Badger was disappointed again, but not for long, because soon he spotted a rabbit walking by. Hmm, 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 he thought. How about a rabbit banana split covered with hot fudge? Now that's what I call a very fancy meal. Yum, yum. He jumped for the rabbit, but it was too quick. It hippity hopped right out of Badger's hands. Then it bounced away as fast as it could. And found a perfect place to hide. Poor Badger. He had lost three meals in a row. And now he was really, really hungry. He screamed, Ah! I'm so hungry that I could eat a horse! Oh, really? said a loud voice. Badger couldn't believe his bad luck. There glaring down at him was a big, mean-looking horse. You eat me, sneered the horse. I don't think so. Now stop badgering me. And with that, the horse kicked Badger way up into the air. Oh, Badger flew and flew and flew some more. until, thump, he landed right back where he started, in his own den. Whew, thank goodness I made it home, exclaimed Badger. Who needs a fancy meal anyway? I have plenty of good food right here. But Badger was wrong. His food was all gone. Instead, all he found was a short note, which said, Dear whoever lives here, sorry for dropping by uninvited. A nasty badger was chasing us, and we had nowhere else to hide. The apples, worms, and roots were delicious. Thanks for the fancy meal. Excuse me. The end. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. How did you like that story, Alea? I hope that you loved it, was entertained, and also learned a valuable lesson from that story. What do you think that lesson was, Alea? Well, let's see. The badger had food already at home, right? Then he was a little bit uh, dissatisfied with the food that he already had in his den. So then he thought he can go and try to 
find some animals that he wanted to uh, badger and chase so he can eat them and use them for his fancy meal until he met his match, right? Which was that horse. And that horse had to remind him that, um, no, Badger, you ain't about to come around here and think you won't eat me. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna knock you out. And that's what he did, right? And so then, then, Alea, what happened was, Badger said, oh, oh, okay, yeah, cool. You, you're right, you're right. So I'm about to, you know, I'm at the house. I'm, you know, I can go back to the house now. I'm cool, I'm good. Get there, he like, what? I, I got food. You know, now he remembers the food that he had, right? You know, before, he, he didn't appreciate the food that he had. So then when he got, you know, kind of got whooped up a little bit by the horse, then he realized, he said, oh man, I got some food. And he, then he looked and he said, oh my gosh, I don't even have this food that I had before because the animals that he called himself trying to chase so he can use for a fancy meal, they ate his food. And just like in the note said, hey, we were being chased by this badger and we were in this den and we were hiding out. We got a little hungry. So we went on ahead and enjoyed the food that was already there. So the, the lesson, Alea, be grateful for what you got. And don't start complaining about the things that you have, all right? Look at what you have and say, you know what? I should be satisfied and content with what I have. That does not mean that you can't go out and get more things. Of course, we understand that. But we also have to remember to be grateful. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story again. I appreciate you uh, listening. Remember to like, subscribe, and share our videos. And remember to keep reading for at least 30 minutes a day. Happy reading.